Oh yeah, I'm taking a picture in front of this. Right this hot second. Turn left, then you will arrive at your destination. Turn left, then I'll arrive at my destination. I'm here. What you talking about, Willis? All right, everybody. Welcome to uh, Mini Moto Madness out here at uh, Barber. This is awesome. Honda's got a full setup out here, and they've got a lot of uh, custom bikes here from the uh, Mini Moto scene. We have Man in the Box over here with their Navi. Man in the Box, Steady Garage. Uh, we've got a chopped up Super Cub over here. This thing is sick. Slammed to the weeds. That is just beautiful. It's got the new motor in it too. Whoa, me likey. Me likey. Okay, well happy Friday morning to you all. Neil and I are headed out and he's already left me. I have no idea where he went. <laughs> it's taking my time getting going here. Where'd you go, Neil? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> he left me. Sitting here jacking with a camera and the GPS and everything else. Uh, we are at a uh, park somewhere, Stone Mountain something. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Neil? I don't know where he went. There he is. All right. So we're headed over to the uh, Barber Motorsport Museum, or Motorcycle Museum, whatever it's called. Uh, it's about 15 miles or so from here. Uh, I got in here about 10.30 last night. Uh, and I turned 725, 726 miles from my door. So that is the longest mini moto haul that I've done yet. Uh, the, the longest day that I've ever pulled on my Super Cub was about just shy of 600 miles, so like 580 or something like that. So this was well beyond that, 720-ish. So uh, quite a haul. I did it in uh, roughly 17 hours, minus the fuel stops and the uh, uh, you know, occasional bio breaks. I had a short lunch break, uh, so probably a solid 15 hours of riding to do that. Uh, averaging about, I would say, 50 was my normal average uh, on the highways and the, the hills and everything, especially getting here into uh, Alabama, Mississippi and Alabama. Pinned open, just absolutely 100% throttle. Uh, I was getting 46 to 48 up most of the hills. And uh, on the flats, I was able to pull 53 to 55 actual uh, 50 was it 56 57 indicated uh, so yeah it's doing okay this is roughly equivalent to the super cub uh, it doesn't have quite as much top end power as the super cub because this one's tuned for mid-range and it's uh, shorter geared uh, one tooth shorter whatever uh, or what is it uh, three teeth larger in the back so anyway it does okay Pulling up the hills in lower gears, it does better than the Super Cub pulling the trailer, uh, but not by a long shot, not by much. I don't know what my fuel economy average is. I haven't uh, totaled that up yet. Uh, my first couple of fills were around 100 miles to the gallon, and then the later ones after that were much lower because I was headed straight into the wind, into these storms and stuff that rolled south uh, yesterday, and uh, I was probably only getting you know high 80s mile per gallon but that's still pretty good so my thoughts on long-term comfort on this trail 125 versus my super cub I, I would say they're about equal um, I thought this might be more comfortable in the long run because of the uh, the seating position and the higher handlebars and all that but what I find is uh, I'm I'm putting too much bias on the bars all the time just because of their position so they either need to come up a little bit or I need to move the angle uh, a little so I'm not leaning on them or hanging on to them and affecting the bike. Uh, it's got a short wheelbase and with the trailer behind it uh, any steering input really makes it kind of wiggle around much more so than the Super Cub so that's the only thing I can figure out is it's these higher bars that are causing that uh, difference in leverage. So. But seat position, uh, I would say the seat is marginally more comfortable, but I think it's just because of the, the foot peg angle position. Uh, it allowed me a little bit more room to wiggle around than I can do on the Cub. 
for long distance. I have the Airhawk pad on here, of course, so that, that helps take out the hot spots. I don't think I'd want to sit on the seat for 15 plus hours without that Airhawk. Fuel range being increased from the one gallon uh, up to 1.4 on this. That's a nice touch. Let's it stretch its legs a little longer. I was getting 120 ish miles to a tank uh, before I would preemptively refill it. If it had a little bit more horsepower, it would work great. Just need the, uh, the 143cc kit in it, something like that. Uh, give it another couple of horsepower, a little bit more torque, and then uh, maybe up gear the front sprocket one tooth or you know, drop a couple of teeth in the rear and let it uh, get down the highway at 55 without screaming its lung out. Yeah, let those two go. We're consulting the map and the GPS here, trying to figure out where we want to turn. We're going to take this little road over here and it's going to go up and over a lake. We could take the highway all the way, but that's boring. Need to lube my chain today, it's starting to sound a little dry. 720 miles of hard highway running will do that. <laughs> I might change my oil while I'm here too before I head back home. This thing had the first early oil change, then I had, did the 600 mile change on it, and now it's, you know, 17, 1800 miles. So uh, I'll probably do it again. Just freshen it up. Might switch over to full synthetic on this one. It's running uh, regular Petro in here right now. Ugh, here's the lake. That's nice. Looks like the bridge might be just big enough to get uh, little boats under there. Ugh, ugh, pretty steep. Oh yeah, full throttle. Oh, chugga 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 chugga. Drop into second. Ugh. Well. Downhill stop. Stop. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah. Twisty roads. Like that sign. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Hey, yeah, Barber Museum. I'm talking away, not paying attention. This is it. Uh, an outdoor world right next door. 
And another trail. Awesome. All right. Got a trail lover. Hey. More bikes. Yeah, buddies. Monkeys. Yep. That's not a dip. Nine Mile Canyon, those were dips. Woo. 45 miles an hour and then suddenly there's a 10 mile an hour dip. And they're not kidding. <laughs> you are going to bottom out. Barbers, Motorsports Park. I'm gonna have to stop and take a picture in front of that later. Home of Honda Indy. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm taking a picture in front of this. Right this hot second. Right there. I'm going to stand right in the middle of the road. Standing in the middle of the road. Got a friggin' lemming here. Turn left, then you will arrive at your destination. Turn left, then I'll arrive at my destination. I'm here. What you talking about, Willis? Okay. Oh, cancel. Bye. Get gone. Okay then. Bunch more mini motos. Lots of groms. Lots of monkeys. Hey, he's got a touring pack on the back of that one. All right. Rolling. Find everybody. Ugh. I want to check out the campgrounds. Where can the gloves live? The gloves can live right there for the moment. Off we go. Event traffic is that way, but this is the museum. I guess I need another picture in front of this. Hey, there's Common Motor right there. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Okay. How's it going, buddy? Hey, man. Good to see you. Made it. Made How's it. it going? I brought the uh, little Trail 125 instead of the Super Cub. That's why I didn't recognize you. Yeah, I yeah. Like, uh, I, I was like, that looks like some shit he's gonna ride up on. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Okay, we're going to uh, roll out of here and go look for the uh, campsites and just kind of get a lay of the land before we decide to post up anywhere. Uh, once we go in here, they open at 10 a.m. I think they're open now. Uh, it's going to be an all-day thing touring around in there so i will save that for a little bit later we're going to go find uh the campsite check in all that take a look at the campground see if it's worthwhile this is a big facility uh neil was telling me that they rent track time and all kinds of stuff you can hear cars out here running here's porsche uh apparently you can uh you can rent time barber small bore Good morning, sir. All right. uh, I bought tickets online, but I don't know how I Just go sign in right redeem them. Oh, sign in back here. Where at? Right in the there, in that Porsche building? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. I'll circle I'll around this. Okay, cool deal. Perfect. I guess they don't want us parking over there, but I'm going to pull right here in front of it anyway. Give Neil enough room and we're parked. Okay, so I'll go in here and uh, check in and get uh, get my passes. Porsche experience check-in, that would be fun. I don't think I've got that much spare change in my pocket right now. Oh, that looks like fun.
Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. Uh huh. No kidding. Okay, we're all checked in. We've been here for 20 minutes or so, chatting with uh, people that are coming by. Uh, met another uh, YouTube subscriber, Alex. Uh, stopped in on his little uh, blue monkey. Thing looks really cool. He's got a little half cowl on the front of it. Uh, Met a couple of other people sitting here chatting, and uh, unfortunately, this lady right here on this little uh, 22 Cub just dumped it right here. Ah, it's on here somewhere. All right, you good? I see it. Hiding under the jacket. There we are. Thank you. Appreciate it. So uh, yeah, she dumped this thing, laid it over on the side, right here. She just grabbed too much front brake, and all I heard was a chirp and a clunk, and the bike went down. So. Uh, She's okay. Just kind of rashed up the bike. There's the track. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Alex, I think his name was Alex. I'm so bad with names when I first meet people. Uh, Alex pulled up uh, when we were getting tickets up at the booth, and uh, I made it out to the uh, the bike, and he said, "Quasi Motard? Yeah." <laughs> Another guy on a trail. Uh, the one guy that was on a trail as we were pulling into the complex here, he circled around and came back to look at the bike. He wanted to see the trailer. An inflatable castle, okay. Lots of groms. And the rain is starting. So I think we're going to, uh, hey, stunt lot, cool. People can go out there and stunt it. I'll have to go over there and take video of that. Uh, we're gonna go uh, into the museum when the real rain starts. So I think this is where we go in, yes. Spectator parking. Don't know what's going on there. There's the track. RV and tent camping, here we go. Yeah, I think I might want to move my uh, camping over here. Be part of the action, instead of having to drive 15 miles to get here. So I guess we just roll around and check it out. Cool. We can post up pretty much anywhere. There are trees, so I could hang my hammock. There's the guy. Yeah, my chain's dry. I need to lube this thing. Nice rocks. Yeah. Super Cub. Boy, they got that one tatted up. Tiny little 50R. Nice with the white walls. Oh man, this is small bike Nirvana. Love this. Another trail I saw over there. Got a bunch more old trails. Okay, so. I think we're getting into the uh, RV stuff down here, so don't need to go all this way. Circle around. Man, that's a badass little bike. What is that? Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. Full custom frame. Nice! Got the jack shaft running the rear there. That's cool. I wonder what the motor is. Think, man? So if we decide to camp here, I'm thinking somewhere. I mean, there's trees over here, but uh, we can move over here tomorrow night. Or I want to look at the event schedule, figure out if it's continuing on through Saturday night. Otherwise, it might be cool to be here for all the activities and stuff that's happening tonight and tomorrow morning. There was that little stunt lot. I saw that stunt lot. Let's go look at that. Yeah. I'm 
go in here. Don't need to show a wristband or anything? All right, cool. No footer, all right. Law Tigers. I don't know what's going on over here. It looks like spectator booths, pits. I don't know what all they got. Check this out, Honda. They ought to take a picture of my rig. Oh, check out this Cub. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that is sick, dude. Slam to the weeds. Oh, that looks so good. I'd tour that thing across the country. And there's the man in the box, Navi. Nice. Welcome to uh, Mini Moto Madness out here at uh, Barber. This is awesome. Honda's got a full setup out here and they've got a lot of uh, custom bikes here from the uh, Mini Moto scene. We have Man in the Box over here with their Navi. Man in the Box, Steady Garage. Got a bunch of custom bikes. Woo, that sounds healthy. Uh, we've got a chopped up Super Cub over here. This thing is sick. Slam to the weeds. That is just beautiful. It's got the new motor in it too. Whoa, me likey. Me likey. Probably didn't ride all that great with that suspension chopped down so short, but oh, it looks good. Got a couple of uh, custom Groms in here. This one's all slicked out. Look at that. Open intake. Don't hit any puddles. Looks good though. Dual exhaust, check that out. Check that out. But that thing's noisy, right behind the head. And uh, got a uh, custom Trail 125 over here. I believe this was also Steady Garage. Looking good. A little more show than go, but uh, that's uh, that's pretty fancy. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. I've already met two or three subscribers that have just come up and said, you're quasi, right? Because <laughs> they recognize the trail. They just finished up a uh, stunt competition out there. I didn't get any of that because I didn't get on the beginning of it. But uh, here's my rig. Neil right next to us here. Uh, this is uh, Brennan, Brendan uh, with uh, Common Motor Collective. He just pulled up a minute ago. We met his other guys over there in front of the museum, and uh, he just rolled up here on his uh, classic trail. Nice, nice. Saw this last weekend at the uh, Bikes and Coffee. Let's just do a walk down the line and see what we got. Okay, that's loud. Apparently they're gonna have some drag race competitions and all kinds of stuff later today. I don't know where that's gonna be. Maybe out on the main track. This is the couple, uh, she dropped this on the way in, unfortunately. Let's see, they got rashed up. Uh, just the end. Yeah, it looks good. Trail 110. Oh, man. Harkens back to my youth. I had one of these with the uh, dual range transmission and the saddle tank. Hell yeah, buddy. Yep. It's got a very much shortened stand on there, but yeah, I had one of these and just beat the hell out of it. Fantastic machine. There's the guy that we met over in front of the museum. Say howdy, howdy. <laughs> what tires did you put on here? I like the tires. IRC? No, the Chinko. Chinko, yeah. I've got a set of IRC GP1s that I'm going to put on mine when I get back because I'm already squaring off my rear tire pretty good. Yeah, these, these have actually held up. Yeah. Pretty well, but uh, how many miles do we have on it now? 2,500. 2,500. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna walk around. Yes, sir. We'll see you. Nice.
got to see this dyno action going on over here, making all kinds of good noises. Someone's got a big bike in there. Got it. Dino in a trailer. Sick. vendors and their show-off stuff here. We got a SSR Motorsports here. Uh, I might have to take a look at these Benelli's because I know they got Benelli's. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Here's the little Benelli. TNT 150 or whatever this is. 135. There we go. 135. Oh, that beats the Grom by 10 cc's. It even comes with uh, what looks like an oil cooler. Yeah, it does. It's got an oil cooler on it. Cool. Mean bike. I'm gonna take some of your stickers here if you don't mind. Like one I could find. Peter, like four Whoa, months ago. Benelli. He's got a full header on his with the stock bikes. Right there. And SSR. EBay. I think eBay. Oh, getting all the swag. Nice. Vanson Hines here. piece Honda monkey slip on grab a couple of Vance Hines sticky stickies might have to buy one of their hats so there's a black powder coated one and there's the stainless cool. oh Navi has got a Vance and Hines already uh oh I might have to do this where's the Vance and Hines guy uh-oh, trouble. Trouble's brewing. I'm going to come back and talk to Vance and Hines. Nobody's here right now. Navi with a Vance and Hines. Ooh, she's looking spicy. They got a good bracket here. I like that. Uh, there's no support for the fender, so I guess maybe we don't need it. It's a good-looking pipe, though. Nice diameter head pipe. Big and beefy. Man in the box. Big time small board. This one's 700. And a Moto Compo. Tell me somebody rode this here. <laughs> nice. Oh, a Japanese plate on it too. Oh, that is sick. I'm getting a picture of this. It's got a custom exhaust on it. A little expansion pipe. Nice. Hardtail for a minute, but he's got suspension on there just barely. Okay, so here's the Yoshi exhaust, very high quality, and they did a full fender delete on this thing. That's gonna spray right up your back. Oops, sorry. Ah, excuse me. Doing well. Is this free swag? All right, I love stickers. Oh, cool, thank you. This is cool. Twin exhaust, check this out. Yoshi Twin. On a Grom. That looks pretty good, man. 
Where did I see? I saw a sticker that said small bore life. Hell yeah. Where did I see that? I could have sworn I just saw something that said small bore life. Oh yeah, right there. Small bore life. Yeah, man. Look at that sick little monkey. That's the one I was looking at earlier. That is just sick. I wonder what that engine is. Okay, so man in the box is uh, doing a uh, Yoshi pipe thing on the Navi here. He's gonna run it around over there on the track. He's in full race leathers. Let's see what he does. Where's he going? He's gonna be in here? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Pretty good. Yeah, that's what I went yelling at you. Hey, Throaty. Yeah. Good. Yeah. A little one, 110, it sounds all right. Or 109, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Cold blooded navvies, man. Yeah. I got two of them. I just gave one away. Oh, really? Yeah, I gave one away on my YouTube channel and. Uh, the other one is uh, Cold Blooded Beast. That's pretty good. Cool. Now, are these in full production yet? Well, no. Almost. They're, just, they're just going in and running. So, probably, I would say by August, you okay. should be able to yeah. Maybe sooner. Do you have any idea on pricing? Um, not yet. I, it's probably going to be right around 300 bucks. Okay. Tell. All right. I'm going to roll through all these bikes and take a look at everything before I head completely out here. There are a ton of uh, bikes that have shown up since we've been parked. So I'll do a roll through and take a look at them all. Got a bunch of uh, little Trail 70s. There are a lot of monkeys out here. All kinds of cool stuff. Got a ton of uh, ruckuses, and I don't know what that is. That's pretty badass looking. Looks like an S-Max that got chopped up. Got a bunch of uh, classic trail 70s and 90s and stuff over here. Check them out, check them out. Cool. Met a lot of good people out there. Everybody's uh, super enthused about the small bore lifestyle, man. It is just uh, it's a neat, uh, neat group of eclectic people. All right. Well, Neil and I are headed out. We are going to go uh, to Bucky's. Uh, I've got to look where it is. I have no clue where it is. Mmm, the smell of oil and two-stroke. We got people racing out here in the stunt lot doing stunts. I'll have to stop by there. Oh, that guy's pulling a good wheelie. So I need to oil my chain. I also need to check the engine oil on this thing. They tend to consume a little bit, running wide open on the highway forever. And yesterday was uh, 725, 726 miles of forever. So I need to make sure this thing's topped off. Hopefully this is just a sprinkle. I don't want to put on the whole rain gear yet. And I guess Neil and I need to decide if we are uh, transplanting camp. It won't be that hard. I mean, 20 minutes to break camp and 15, 20 minutes to ride over here again. Okay, everybody. Well, welcome back to our Friday evening. Uh, we have... Uh, Spent the day over at the uh, Barber Motorsports uh, Complex, and we left there a little bit ago. I forgot to start recording when we left. My camera batteries were toast, and I forgot to uh, refresh them. Uh, but I took a bunch of footage from inside, and uh, hopefully uh, some of that turns out. I was having some GoPro problems, as usual, but uh, I think I got some decent stuff. Got a bunch of still pictures, anyway. And uh, we left there, uh, came over this way, stopped at a... 
AutoZone that's over there because I need oil for this thing. Uh, I checked my oil earlier today and it's about uh, at least 300 mil low. So it, it, I burned off a lot on the highway getting in here yesterday and uh, grabbed a couple quarts of uh, Mobile One that I'm going to throw in here, do the oil change tonight or tomorrow morning. And uh, make sure this thing's happy for the ride home. My chain is a little slack. Uh, I should probably adjust that, but I don't know if I will. Uh, it was dry, so I lubed it up and it got quieter, so that's a good thing. But we are headed back to uh, the campsite now. Uh, we're going to stay over here at uh, Oak Mountain one more night because we've already paid it. Uh, we're due to check out of there tomorrow morning sometime, so we'll pack up our stuff and uh, head over here to the uh, Barber Complex and uh, camp over there because we've paid for that as well. So we get the best of both worlds. We're going to miss whatever's going on tonight over there. Everybody hanging out and goofing off. There were a lot of people over there. I met uh, three or four of my uh, YouTube subscribers uh, that just happened to be over here. And uh, they, I don't know if they knew I was coming out or not, but they're like, wait, are you Quasi Motor? <laughs> no, I don't have my helmet on, so I'm not Quasi. <laughs> but yes, that is Quasi's bike. <laughs> And several people came over and saw the trailer and they're like, oh, this got this got to be that guy that did the cannonball with his uh, Super Cub. So if anybody has a Trail 125 and you're planning on doing uh, long, hard highway slogs at, you know, wide open throttle for 400, 500 miles, uh, these little engines uh, tend to consume a bit of oil at uh, high RPM, extended high RPM running. We noticed the same thing uh, on our uh, Super Cubs for most of the Cannonball Run trip. Uh, oddly, on the return trip, we didn't use much uh, after Southern California uh, headed back toward Texas via Arizona and New Mexico anyway. So I don't know. It, we changed oil over to Mobile One instead of Castrol, uh, and the consumption pretty much disappeared for me. When I got home and checked it again, uh, I was still almost exactly where I had filled it. It might have lost 50 mil uh, across 1,500 miles or something like that. So that was pretty good. Uh, but during the first part of the Cannonball headed up to Maine, or first part of our trip headed up to Maine and then on the Cannonball, we were consistently burning about 150 mil a day on our Super Cubs. So we always had to top them off every night. Uh, I don't know if it was different, just, you know, the conditions, running conditions, altitude, throttle load. No, I don't know. I have no clue. They were running full open almost all the time. So I don't know what would be different other than the oil stock. So anyway, what I'm putting in this one tonight is uh, Mobile One, 10 W40, the 4T stuff, motorcycle specific. See how it works in here. Uh, it'll be the first full synthetic I've put in here because uh, what's in it now is regular petroleum, the Honda Pro GN4 or whatever it is that I'd put in during the 600 mile check. I'll be interested to see what the gold plug looks like coming out of there. This is a long hard highway torture test uh, yesterday, 720 something miles. Just wide open almost absolutely pinned to the stop i don't think i was ever below about 80 percent throttle uh, all day yesterday and uh, especially for the latter half of the day i was like uh, i don't care about conserving fuel i'm just going to get there <laughs> i just left it wide open and that didn't mean i was going much faster it only gained me about one or two miles an hour but you know over a 17 hour trip one or two miles an hour hell that's 30 minutes difference right there can see a little bit of this road uh, coming in last night I was trying to record some of this stuff but I was tired and it was dark and oh hey there's a bump uh, it was foggy and dark and I was just not in the mood Ugh, I am full throttle a second Woo 
Ooh, it's steep up here. So yeah, I was navigating this last night. Pitch black. There was no atmospheric light of any kind, not even the moon. It was overcast and drizzling and foggy and ugh, yuck, yuck. And there are a lot of twists and turns. <laughs> and the road is kind of washed out, you know, not much marking there. So it's a little bit of a terror fest through here. Not to mention, I had no idea where I was going. Just riding, hoping for the best. At least now I know where I'm going. It's pretty out here water is really calm. Second gear, come on, whoa, come on, whoa, oh, steep, come on, oh, oh, chug, 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 full throttle. Ugh. your doings. Oh, good idea. Maybe. Maybe. Does that thing have a parking brake on it? Nope. Really? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Even these, it'd be great if these had parking brakes. Uh, they won't roll forward when they're in gear, but they can roll backwards. <laughs> yeah, fall right off the side stand. Hell yeah, that's happened to me before. Got two ricks of wood. Well, two bundles, not two ricks. There you go. So Neil took my advice and got himself an air hawk. <laughs> yep. uh, not early, like, That's right. Protect the delicate tushy. If you need to strap it over on mine, I got all this, you know, this extra long uh, rock straps. Just gonna rest it on there. Think it'll stay? Yeah, okay yeah. then. I'll ride behind you, see if I can go log hopping. I'm gonna park on the pavement tonight. Pull through is just for our site right here, so I'm parking on the pavement. This is our pull through, so oh, yeah. don't fall off and don't fall over. <laughs> 